Welcome. In this series of videos, we're showing how Log10 Pro supports you through your whole aviation career. In this second video, we're going to look at many of the features that support certified flight instructors. We'll cover setting up your typical role and using the duty feature to track billable hours and pay, adding students, aircraft, and places as favorites, setting up a smart group for each of your students, tracking flights and other types of instruction and digital signatures, tracking endorsements for repeat business, reports, exporting monthly billable hour reports and custom report options, and sharing. Now you can share flights, aircraft, people, trips, and groups with Log10 Pro's SmartShare. First, let's set our typical role to instructor by tapping More, Settings, My Logbook, Typical Role, and choose Instructor. This will pre-configure most of the fields we will need as an instructor. It's important to note that if you've made any customizations to your logbook, changing the typical role will change which fields are visible to the role chosen's defaults. Going back to the My Logbook section, you'll notice on this screen the default pay rates. The values you enter here will be used as the defaults for all new flights. They are not applied to any existing flights. Many instructors use the duty rate to track the entire session, including ground and flight time. If you earn or charge a higher rate for flight time, you can set a flight pay rate, which will be added in addition to your duty pay when calculating total earnings. Now we'll go back and then tap on Time Calculations. Here you set allowances for ground instruction prior to flights and post-flight debriefs using the Duty Time Default section. We'll set this as 45 minutes before scheduled out and 30 minutes after arrival. Now, all the flights with students will include this time in the duty section of your logbook. You must also turn the Show Clock Time Auto Fill buttons on. If you're flying in the US, times are calculated by default in Hobbs format. We recommend changing this to Out In so that nighttime can be automatically calculated. In the Calculation From section, tap on Hobbs and set this to Out In. To track billable hours and pay, you'll need to make sure the duty section is visible in your logbook. To add the section, simply tap on the logbook tab, then on any flight. Then tap the Actions button in the top right and tap Configure Fields. Then scroll down to the duty section, tap Configure Section, and add the Duty Rate, Flight Rate, Off Duty, On Duty, Total Duty, and Total Earnings fields. Now, when you enter the flight time as well as the duty time, your earnings will be calculated based on the rates you inputted in the default section. Again, if you're instructing in the US and wish to take advantage of the features associated with tracking using out in times, you'll need to add these fields now. Tap the Actions button in the top right, tap Configure Fields, tap Configure Section in the Flight section, and turn Out and In on. Another useful section to add as a flight instructor is Entry Type in the Flight section. To do so, turn Entry Type to On. This way you can use the Non-Flying and Simulator Duty to track ground and flight training device instruction. Of course, Log10 Pro is designed to let you get straight into your logbook and enter flights on the fly. Just head to the Logbook tab, tap the plus button on the top right, and enter details for the flight. You can also enter your aircraft, people, and places in advance if you'd like to, or add extra details you missed when you originally logged the flight. So for example, you could add your active students in advance. To do this, tap More, then People, then the plus sign on the top right of the screen, add details for that student, and turn the Favorite button to On. This will ensure the student stays at the top of your people list in the color blue for quick access. And when that student's no longer active, you can turn favorite off. We can also add a picture for the student. Now go back and choose aircraft. Here you can add the main aircraft you fly. Tap the plus button and enter the details of the aircraft. If this is the aircraft you always fly for instruction, you can set it as a default aircraft that will always be entered in each new flight entry. You can also set it as a favorite so it stays at the top of your list of aircraft. Lastly, we'll set up a place as favorite. Go back and tap on Places. Tap the plus sign and type in your home airport, Portland. 
You'll notice that Log10 Pro automatically adds in the details for that airport from our database of over 30,000 landing facilities. And we'll turn on the favorite field. Now that we have our students inputted, let's set up smart groups for them so we can track all our instruction for each student. To set up the smart group, tap Radar, then Analyze, and tap the plus button on the top left. Enter the name of your smart group. Here, we'll use the student's name. Leave the In Last, In Next, and Display As fields set to the default settings. In the Criteria section, we want to set the smart group to track dual given with our student. So our first criteria to set is to look for the student's name in the student crew field. Tap Add Criteria, then choose Category, Crew, Key, Student, Operator, Is, and then type in our student's name. Go back and add a second criteria for dual given. Choose Category, Time, Key, Dual Given, Operator, Greater Than, and Value to Zero. Now Log10 Pro will track log time with this student. Tapping on the student, you'll notice that the smart group can also help with driving business. For example, night time and actual instrument is tracked with the student. If the numbers are low, you could suggest some further instruction in those areas if appropriate. Let's look at an example flight. After engine start, when workload permits, tap on the Fly Now tab and tap Fly Now. You'll notice that the airport is filled in using GPS and the out time is also automatically filled in based on the current time. Also notice that your default aircraft is set and dual given and PIC will automatically fill in with the total time. Log10 Pro is set up to minimize the amount of data entry you have to do. When you land and the student is going through the engine shutdown checklist, just tap the blue arrow in the to field and the blue clock in the in field and your landing airport and time is filled in. Tap done and the flight is saved or you can tap the details button to go directly to the logged flight to add more details, including our billable time with the student. In the duty section, tap the blue use this time field in the on off duty field to add the out time with the additional 45 minutes of ground instruction prior to the flight and 30 minutes debrief after the flight as per the defaults we've already set. If either ground or debrief instruction was longer or shorter, you can easily just tap in the field and change the time manually. You can also track takeoffs, landings, remarks, and include a picture for the flight. Once it is completed to your satisfaction, you can sign the flight and use Log10 Pro's share feature to send the signed and locked flight to the student for easy inputting into their own logbook. Log10 Pro will even switch over dual given to dual received automatically. Just tap the actions button in the top right, choose share, and you can share the flight via airdrop, text message, or email. Next, we'll take a look at how you can use endorsements to track students' BFRs as a reminder for a repeat business. Tap more, then certificates. Tap the plus sign in the top right to add a new endorsement. Name the endorsement as BFR and the student's name. Turn the expires field to on and set the date the biennial review expires. Set the pilot as your student and add yourself in the endorsed by field. Now when you go back to the radar tab, you can see that the BFR for Tom is due in 100 days. The certificate will be green up to 90 days before when it will turn orange. With 30 days left before expiring, it'll turn red. You can also set a notification for expiring certificates on your iOS device by tapping More, Settings, Notifications, and turn Notifications for Expiring Certificates on, and set the days before you wish to be notified. You can also track all endorsements, so things like a solo endorsement can also be monitored so you don't forget when they expire and can contact the student in advance. Another great feature is the ability to add the text for endorsements often used. When you tap the plus button to add a new endorsement, just tap the details field in the endorsement and a list of over 70 preloaded endorsements comes up. Then choose the endorsement you want, add any other details and tap apply. 
You can even sign the endorsement. Then tap the Actions button in the top right and share it, signed and locked, with your student. The Log10 Pro Reports section also helps you run your business. In the Reports tab, under General, you'll find the Flight School Report can be used to export a summary of flights with all your students or for each student individually. So you can share the report with your flight school for all students or print out individual invoices for each of your students. To export the report for an individual student, tap Reports, then General, then Flight School Report, tap Configure Report, keep Entry Type at All, and then tap Filter Group and choose the smart group for the student you want to print a report for. Then tap the date range of last month, then tap Generate. Now you have a report you can print with all instruction for student Tom Kazansky for the month of April. Log10 Pro reports can even be customized to include specific information you want to have on the report or your company logo. Visit support.coradine.com to learn about customizing reports. Log10 Pro has an IACRA summary report that makes it a snap to track your progress towards a new type rating or certificate. Just tap Reports, Experience, FAA IACRA Summary, tap Configure Report, and then Generate. This gives you an overview of some of the great features Log10 Pro has to offer in helping certified flight instructors. And remember, students can use Log10 Pro for iOS and Mac completely free until they've logged more than 250 hours of flight time. And of course, if you have any questions about these or indeed any other features in Log10 Pro, Please don't hesitate to contact our fantastic support team direct from Log10 Pro by tapping more, then help, then contact support. Thanks for watching.